Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in two days video being the 1st of September, let's start on the Bitcoin monthly chart and see what we can decipher from this, okay? So very simply, we can see here a higher wick, higher wick, higher wick. So three months in a row, we have seen lower high, lower high, lower high. But on the flip side, higher low, higher low, higher low. So what is this a characteristic of sideways price action forming a consolidation pattern and we are waiting for a very big break to come out of this. Now we've been going three months in it, uh, okay, more or less three months in this, it's going to be having a very tasty break when it comes. We can uh, safely say that. So be prepared for that break. Um, and yeah, with that in mind, let's now zoom on to a lower term time frame to see what is really going on here. OK, so when we come down to the two hour, we finally we finally hit the infamous 382 fib level from high to low, uh, which was very nice. So I had a nice, really nice short trade here. OK, that was hit. OK, we uh, you know this is a level I've been talking about now for like the last three videos I've done on YouTube. This 382, we've been waiting for it. It's finally hit. Obviously, the fifth from here, fifth from here, both 382s hit now. Uh, so 9,700, that was the resistance we are keeping our eye on, OK? 9,700, OK? So with that said, we are still really, though, when we just take a look at this with zero bias, low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, potential higher low to come up for another higher high. OK, so one has to be really aware of the pattern, OK, of the uh, or the, um, the the structure of this lower term time frame market, although it's a potential flag. Uh, we are still until broken higher highs and higher lows. OK, so just keep that in mind. So on the shorter term, uh, probably that this can be used going into the weekly close tonight. OK, or maybe Monday open tomorrow. Uh, we have clear resistance, 9700, clear support coming in at 9321. And that's just the range that we are in right now. OK, I would expect this to range to break by uh, by Monday, though, if I'm honest, I think we'll get a break from this range. OK, but that is the range to be trading. Uh, if you're watching this on well, when I upload it. <laughs> OK, so with that in mind, with that in mind, what can we say is a higher resistance level, really the higher this wick. So 9,732 9, is coming in at your next um, horizontal resistance level. OK, and in terms of support, we know the harmonic butterfly pattern coming in at around 9,200 to 9,000. OK, so. Obviously, I'm in a short position, but I just want to say something. I am very safely in a short position Well, from my entries. What you do have to remember is that if a market suddenly turns extremely bearish, OK, this is just something to bear in mind. If everybody starts looking at a market the same way, is it likely to go the way everybody expects? OK, this is something to bear in mind. That's not always are you going to see the move straight down here, OK, because it's very easy for higher players to flush out weak hands essentially and flush them out by getting a move to the upside which is going to flush out those shorts everybody that started to short right at the bottom here if this group creeps up they are going to be underwater you know essentially just closing out their positions in in fear of liquidating their accounts possibly okay so i'm not ruling out a move to the upside to flush out any late shorters of this move okay and that's something that I would really play off the structure of this market. OK, really keep your eye on that structure um, because that is definitely a possibility here. One has to be really aware of that because there have been a lot of shorts opening down here, uh, which is just a cr kind of a really crazy level. And I would call it FOMO shorting, <laughs> just like people FOMO into massive pumps. People FOMO short into massive dumps at the same time. And it's really crazy and bad idea. Um, so if there is a move up. I would say it's be to, to flush them out, basically, and, and to liquidate some shorts before we get a bigger move. Um, because in the grand scheme of things, if we bring this up to the weekly or the three day here, it's a pretty nice time frame. All we can say is on the three day, we, we still are at what about maybe 75 percent. So this is the place you'd expect a break. But we're still 75 percent. We're, we're not near the actual apex where a break must happen. That's going to be around mid-October or late mid-October. OK, but normally you will break uh, about 75 percent of the way through for uh, a follow through. OK, otherwise you're going to look at a lot of fake outs. But all I would say is when we come up to this weekly, put on our simple moving averages here. OK, so this simple moving average here is the 20 simple moving average, and that's also acting going to be a support potentially on this 9000, which is already a uh, a support. And it has to be viewed as support until it's lost. OK, if there's a close below, then we can say it's lost. But until then, it's support until it's not. OK, so with that in mind. All I am just very aware of is, is a flush move to the upside to to basically wipe out some and liquidate some shorters here. Um, but yeah, I would just like to firstly say 
this candle that we got right here last night, this was actually a lovely, lovely trade. But I think many new traders, and this isn't me trying to be mean, but this, I think many new traders are going to view this candle right here and see the long wick to the upside, the long wick to the downside, okay? The Darth Maul type candle, okay? And say, manipulation this was a manipulative ma manipulation candle the whales in the market just running their games i cannot trade this uh i present to you an absolutely perfect trade here this was literally an absolutely perfect trade that i took last night so i was posting about this basically we were coming down for the liquidity run on the on the for a longs okay so i had longs waiting literally at 9443 i had a long waiting there for a long position Okay, what happened was we come down. It is called a liquidity run, by the way. So you come down, you grab the liquidity. What you have to remember is we were very sideways for that whole range. Okay, so for a good day here, sideways, you come down, you take the lows. Okay, you get filled on a liquidity grab and you fill, you know, you push that back up to the upside. And this is just going to wreck so many newer traders people are trapped in here maybe they're they're long they see themselves stopped out and one minute later they wish they had never even put their stop loss here and this is just typical crypto uh trading it's really easy when you know what you're looking for okay so although many people will scream manipulation this was a perfect perfect trade nothing to do with manipulation just really good trading liquidity run up to the 382 resistance and now you're obviously falling down so this was honestly a lovely lovely trade and i was also giving this out as well on twitter saying like uh you know there you go the liquidity grabs i was like saying about it I don't know. You can go back through my tweets. Anyway, yeah, quick long here from the liquidity grab. Then we come up and then I was saying about the three, two. Anyway, you can read through that and, and make that out yourself. But uh, yeah, here we go. So with that in mind, we've, we've now grabbed liquidity on both sides. And now I believe this is why we have went for the next <laughs> coming on uh, 12 hours here, just going sideways. OK, very sideways as, as the volume is very low. Volume is extremely low. And this is the same for altcoins across the board. Just really, really low volume today. OK, so. What I would say is a move is going to be coming shortly. OK, maybe we'll get it for the weekly close tonight. Maybe it will drag out a little bit longer. But I'm hoping for the weekly close because I'm going to be trading that. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how this goes into the night. Just be aware of the potential of a mm, somewhat could say should short squeeze of uh, late shorters having to be forced to liquidate here of a, of a run to the upside. So just be aware of that. But I will say short term, we're looking at nine, seven still resistance up to nine, eight, nine, seven, nine, eight resistance. And then obviously nine K to nine two support. OK, that's the range to be trading from right now. Uh, in what has actually been a really technically traded range. This has technically traded very well. Obviously, we originally had our parallels. Then we had the liquidity grabs up to 382s. Like everything of this move has been extremely technically traded. And it has, if I'm honest, been quite an easy range to trade. Okay. The same with Ethereum. Let me show you Ethereum really quickly because that was as well, like one of the easiest shorts ever. Where's ETH here? So ETH, <laughs> random pump out of nowhere but right onto our weekly level and then it gets rejected and we're talking about weekly levels here being hit there to give or take a few uh cents okay hitting and seeing rejection so like levels are being although it's somewhat tight it is still a really technically traded error range to be honest Okay, um, and I think that's everything because, you know, there's not really too much to cover here. There's not, yeah, there's not really too much. I think the best alt at the moment is is Engine Coin, but even that is seeing a, what's that, a bearish engulfing candle now? Yeah, so bearish engulfing candle heading down. And that was the best one of the lot. <laughs> uh, obviously, WAN, in my opinion, is getting an overall WXY correction. Uh, but yeah, the, the best one for me was Engine Coin, and that's even got a bearish engulfing now. So overall, the altcoin market is just extremely low volume. You go to Binance and you look at the alts, uh, and they're, they're, they're very, very, very low volume in the past 24 hours. So there's no real opportunity today for altcoins, and Bitcoin is just trading this range still. Okay, um, so yeah, that's that's where I'll leave you with, I think, uh, for this. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you want to learn more about how I'm doing these trades, how I'm making this money, then you can come over to uh, chartchampions.com and uh, yeah, feel free to yeah take some mentorship with me. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this quick update. There's not really too much to have covered over here, uh, apart from this, this range and this, these trades that I've taken. So hope that you've enjoyed this and it's been educational for you. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>